Good morning, citizens of the world. My name is Da Vinci Jeremy, and my channel is dedicated to a very important topic of savings because, well, everybody needs to save. And today we're going to be talking about um, Bitcoin's best practices, and this is going to be a part one of multiple series. Um, also, we're going to be talking about, um, you know, you know, setting up your backup keys, right, and so forth, and your, your um, your 12 words save storing where to best store your, your 12 word passwords and so forth. Also, we're going to do a little bit of Bitcoin TA and also JP Morgan's capitulation melt up. Finally, I want to I, I want to share um, some videos, a video that with you that's very I feel that is very important. And then finally, I'm going to do some question and answers. So what do you do when you create a new wallet? Right. Well, the first thing you do, right, is once you set up the wallet, right, you want to deposit a little bit of money into that the wallet. Not too much, like one or to ten dollars, right? Something that you can go, you know, okay, well, if it goes, it goes. Right? Now, saving your pri private key backup words, right? That's very important, right? Uh, but what, before you do that, right, uh, make sure that any a wallet that you do set up, that you have a password with that that wallet set up. So that whenever you want to transfer funds, you need to that password. And that's very important because, well, if somebody has access to your phone or to your computer and they log in, they'll be able to um, transfer the wealth without the, without the password. So you obviously want a password for that. Finally, if, uh, if somebody hacks your computer, of course, they can actually transfer your Bitcoin. So you don't want that to happen. So a password is very important right? Uh, that you uh, have that. Next, uh, every wallet has um, a set of uh, private key backup words, right? They call it different things, a passphrase or whatever. But basically, you need those um, those words written down, and uh, you need to write them down. And I would suggest you actually type them out on the computer. It's okay. I know some people say, well, I don't want to type it out on the computer because what if somebody took a copy of it? Well, just to make sure you don't save that file, you print it out, and you... Um, you um, you can put it away. The reason why you want to print it out, right? Type it out and print it out because just in case somebody cannot understand how your your somebody in the future doesn't know how to read what you've written on a piece of paper. So it's best to uh, type it out so that it's clear. All right. Now what I want you to do is restore your wallet. That's very important. Uh, in in um, Pandora's wallet, is you have to just go to percent app app, app data percent. Pandora's wallet, uh, and then it'll take you to a directory. And those uh, files that end with SQLite, you just delete those files, and that's how you delete it in Pandora's wallet. For other applications, such as um, wallets on your phone, you just you know click on the wallet and delete it. And it, it mo in most cases, it deletes your wallet as well. That's very important because I want you to use, to go ahead and restore your your wallet with your 24 words or 12 word backup keys, right? Because you want to make sure that those words are working. So delete your wallet and restore your wallet. Then make sure that, that those, those few dollars that you put into the wallet are actually there. And this way, you know for sure that those, uh, those backup words do work, All right? Now, where do you store those backup words? Because that's very important, right? It's, it's, you don't want to store them. The worst place in the world to store them is in a safety deposit box at a bank. One, that's not insured. Two, the more time the bank has the right to steal it from you. Don't add, it's a long story. Just trust me on that. They will steal it from you because they have the right to do so. So uh, do not put it in the bank. Um, that's the most dangerous place to do so. Um, the best thing for you to do is just to, to buy a home safe, right? Um, put it on paper or using crypto steel where you can find it at uh, treasure.davinciej15.com and stick it in the safe. That's the most safest place right now. Um, yeah, you could say bury it in the backyard, but trust me, you'll, you'll probably just end up losing it and, um, and, and losing a lot of money. So that's not a good idea. Okay. So now we're going to go on to the next part of our uh, video which is the ta and here i'm just going to switch screens here and to the ta and wow bitcoin is doing extremely well as you can see right we uh, have taken off uh we've 
retouched the the 61.8 backed off again a little bit but man that's amazing um, as you know my trade has cleared if you want to take profits up here you couldn't take profits I've decided not to because what happened was I was thinking I think there was a lot of uh, bullish momentum coming up here because of because of this JP Morgan right I, I mean they have basically this is like a capitulation bell for me uh, on the way up I mean I just I never expected this that JP Morgan would uh, actually allow a company that is selling bitcoins trading bitcoins to 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 allow to have them have a bank account and to allow other people with bank accounts to actually buy bitcoins that is a, a capitulation move if you ask me uh, i mean you know you know the the saying right um first they first they uh ignore you then they ridicule you then they fight you and then you win right i mean this is just this is incredible incredible right i mean you saw this right bitcoin is a terrible star of value back in 2014 bitcoin will not survive bitcoin is going nowhere and bitcoin's a fraud i mean well, now uh 2018 it said i really don't give a give a hoot about bitcoin and now it's like yeah uh come uh, put your bank here and uh bank here and you could be able to buy bitcoins no problem what <laughs> what <laughs> unbelievable and I, I and so uh this this is this is a huge bullish sign and um i would uh this is like the buy the dips moment from the dips if you have a large sums of cash what i suggest is that you uh break it up into 10 parts every time a dip comes right every time you see this large candle down right any kind of large four hour candle down that's where you go okay uh can i get some of that <laughs> can i can i can i get some of that on that, bit, that bitcoin right um if you're if you're interested in trading this uh, do not use do not use your money that you use for savings to go to buy bid and gamble here only if you're a trader and only if you're interested in trading and you've learned how to trade, do you come over here and you type in bybit.davincij15.com, right? And you can uh, subscribe to Bybit in order to, to, to uh, go long, short, and all that kind of good stuff on, um, uh, on, uh, on this uh, exchange here. You can also go uh, leverage longs with um, Ethereum and so forth, but dangerous, dangerous thing. I would not suggest it for the average person okay with that said uh in the link in the description below you'll find um uh, obviously those tweets and um this video please head over there and watch it um this goes to show that the republic has absolutely lost its mind uh, somebody who wants to you know feed their children is going to jail for seven days and losing is being fined seven thousand dollars right because they cannot open their salon to feed their children and that's irresponsible that's horrible especially when you see the the, uh, the hypocrisy of it where the judge gets his paycheck so that he can pay so he can feed his family but she cannot this is hypocrisy at its best so uh i need you to i i would appreciate it if you um you go go and support this video and uh, talk about it with your friends and families so that you no know, there honestly there's going to be a breaking point in the united states um and uh it's because this this has got to stop right because like i mean imagine if the government says yeah you know what uh i'm going to order the the police to go shoot a specific set of people that's okay that because you know the, the government stamped it and said it was a law i mean get real people you know what's right and what's wrong and what th this is this is completely wrong all right let's head over to the questions and answer period of today and uh let me just switch screens right all righty but before that 
Um, we're going to talk about you hitting the subscribe and and the, also the bell icon, please. And also, if you hit the more um, button, you will find my backup channel. Right? Please get over there and um, and subscribe to that. I'm going to be opening up another backup channel on BitChute just in case, um, because you know YouTube is, is uh, cracking down hard. A lot of the channels that I watch are being terminated on YouTube slowly but surely. They're just incrementally terminating. First, they're, they're, they're you know, demonetizing them, right? Um, first, they were doing the exact same things they're doing to Bitcoin channels, and then they went into the, the demonetizing phase and shadow, shadow banning and so forth. And now, you know, uh, now that they've come to the demonetizing them, they're going to eventually just remove them from the platform. So this is going to happen to uh, Bitcoin channels. I suggest them all of them have some sort of backup channel and, and uh, check out our backup channel in the, the description below. All right, questions and answers. Uh, that guy, well, that's his name, asks, I think Nero meant to ask, after USD price skyrockets, do you just sell for USD or something else? And actually, that's a good question because um, I am going to be looking uh, to converting into gold. Uh, I really think that uh, Bitcoin will get overvalued. I don't know for sure um, if the dollar will be useful measurement tool um, going forward. When when we do skyrocket in 18 months, it may not. It may be a useless measurement tool, and so I will um, then measure uh, Bitcoin in gold ounces and convert to that. Because honestly. Um, Bitcoin will top out priced in real value um, if you um, if, if, if the US dollar collapses or uh, you know even hyperinflates and they just ignore it and say hey well you know what it's the business's fault that that are um, that are causing this hyperinflation not us right if that if they start to do that kind of nonsense right um, yeah they'll continue to hyperinflate and print more money. And so you, you won't be able to measure your, um, your wealth correctly or what's going on in the market correctly unless you measure it in gold. So that's what I'm going to do. Sergeant Crypto asks, should I be concerned that we will never see an all time high again going forward? Are you concerned about that? that? Right. I'm like, um, so uh, I, I, I have to ask him, is, is he concerned? that um sergeant crypto are you concerned that that um the united states government which uh, is printing more and more money and they're agreeing to print more and more money or as much as they need non-stop that that means that economic law changes because it's the united states and they have some sort of magic that if you print it will doesn't mean it means prices will actually go down not up is there um I, I i don't know maybe there is some sort of uh, ability of the united states to do that but i don't think so and um also it just it just seems like right uh you're you're, you're expecting that is it a non-zero chance is it a not is it a zero chance that the that uh, bitcoin can um never see an all-time high um, no, there's, it's a non-zero non probability that Bitcoin could never see an all-time high, meaning that, you know, it could, that all of a sudden economic law changes and, and the United States government can print as much as it wants and without a consequence. But I'm not betting on that anymore that I'd bet on gravity stop working or, you know, an asteroid hitting a planet. It just, it's just not, it's in so, it's so improbable that it's not worth even considering so um that's why i'm not even going to consider the possibility that bitcoin will not go higher it's it's in dollar terms it's just it's impossible to imagine unless you know obviously bitcoin stops working right so that's the only way i see uh bitcoin going uh not not uh, going to all-time highs all right. Well, thank you very much for watching and I really appreciate all my viewers and if you haven't seen the videos coming up below. Please check them out and subscribe. Cheers.